Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Nissan Micra. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a one litre IGT Ascenta Extron Euro 6. It's a five door 2021 on a 21 plate. Only done 10,661 miles. Fuel economy just gives a combined figure of 45.6 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 106 miles an hour out of a 91 brake horsepower 12 valve three cylinder engine. Um, I, I've just had to look what size engine's in this because John's been using it for a couple of days. I've jumped in it to bring it here to photograph it and uh, it, it's like a little flying machine but it's a one litre. So it's great spec too. Really speaking, everything you could possibly want. Um, the, the little, the door handle is just in the top there as part of the kind of window design. Rear privacy glass, this one has got the um, wind deflectors on so you can wind the window down a little bit, and not get rained on, supposedly not get too much blast from outside air. Just a nice car, nice flush. They look like alloy wheels, but the wheel trims, good design, probably nice and streamlined. Bridgestone tires all round. Car sculpted from the front, right the way to the back with the kind of swage line going right along the, the wing tops and so on, and also at the bottom too. And then you've got convex shape of the bonnet there too, the, even the roof sculptured. So it's, it's kind of a, a lot of design gone into this. And, and I, I've got to be honest, I, I do like, if I if had a choice between an EV or this, then I think this is going to end up far cheaper to run than an EV. Um, I mean, I, I, I really do. No problems filling it up and so on. And uh, just very, very economical. Still be worth good money in a number of years and be well sought after, just like the Nissan Micras are now. You get an old Nissan Micra in, somebody wants that to learn to drive in. Honestly, you, you've kind of got a waiting list. And this will be the same. Integrated tailgate spoiler there. Cars open, electric boot release, rear wash wipe. Reasonably big boot, reasonably big boot. Uh, back seats fold down. Again, all, all the all the design going on at the back here is kind of all over the place, and you know, convex roof, the airflow on the roof round the lights, even here. You can, it's just, there's a lot of thought gone into this design anyway. And even the, the kind of splitter at the back, this looks like carbon fiber, but obviously won't be. Mud flaps, as I say, this door handle to get in. Oh. Car's in automatic. Um, again when I was driving it before the seats are so comfortable it's a really really good design supports you across the shoulders just in the back here it's, it's probably more for children the way it's designed but if you lift the rear head restraint up like so then I'm comfortable enough it's got carpet mats it's got this kind of shadow pyramid design really really nice rear child seats isofix anchor points and what I really like to see in the back of cars these days, and I wish they'd do it in all cars. In fact, I, I wish they'd do it in the passenger side and the, the rear doors, wind up windows. I am kidding you not, the amount of money we waste on electric window motors that have never been used in the back and have just seized up. And these days, of course, you've got side impact protection bars the way the doors constructed it's usually hollow metal on the outside and then there'll be an aluminium sheet inside all pop riveted to add to the safety for the for the for the passengers in the back in case of an accident and crumple zones and so on if somebody comes to buy a car obviously they don't want to buy a car with the back windows not working they'll never use them if they were paying for it themselves they won't have them replaced. That's why we end up with so many cars in with 
needing electric window motors because the owners don't want to do it. So you replace it, two or three years down the line, they go and swap it in. Lo and behold, they've not used the back windows and the motor's seized up again. So it's just a complete waste of money. And, you know, these days going about saving the planet, making all sorts of stupid cars that are supposed to be cleaner and they're not. All we need to do is stop putting electric windows. That'd save a fortune. It'd save so much CO2 on production of electric window motors, you know, and, and all the other crap that they make. Lane departure warning. Give me a break. If you need, seriously, think about this yourself. If you need a warning to tell you when you're departing from the lane that you should be in, you shouldn't be on the road. You shouldn't be driving a car um, and, and you, you need to get help. Just, just stuff like that, just, just complete waste. Anyway, this, this car's got <laughs> wind up windows and lane departure warning, so. <laughs> All right. Did I, did I mention it's got rear child locks as well? And that's another good thing with windy windows. Instead of me having to get out that side and look like an idiot, I can now go like this. Oh, no, I can't. I can't find it. There we go. And open the door. Wind up windows. Save you. Okay. Let's go for a nice economical drive. Okay, there's the nice, neat little Nissan Micro Keys. It's a proper blade that goes into an ignition lock. Starts up straight away. Just tell you the service history. As I say, it's only done 10,662 miles at the moment, but 27th of 10th, 2022, serviced at 6,961 miles at Nissan. And then 20th of the 7th, 2023, 9,809 miles Nissan again. So, absolute great service history. There we go, we've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel, electric dormers, we'll just set those before we set off. Get the door handles in, yep, that bit wide. Put on the brake, into drive. You've also got L here. You've got Park, reverse, neutral, drive, and L. I'm assuming that's just to hold it in a low gear. I've never looked. We'll never need it. <laughs> Not interested what it does. <laughs> but I would say that driving it before, I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, it's a one litre, we're pulling up the hill there like nobody's business. We've got here cruise control, so, let's make sure we clear ahead. If I click on, I would assume that's cruise control, that's cruise on, and then I click set, which is the minus, that is now set at what I was doing, which was 33 miles an hour. I can increase on the top here to plus, decrease, and just knock it down to 30. So we're doing 30 miles an hour there. You can see no foot on the accelerator or anything. So that works fine. If I knock it off, if I touch the brake like so, we're starting to slow down. But if I click the top one, the plus, that's also resume. I can knock it off with cancel in the center again, put it back on resume. Got voice activation there, answer the telephone, or dinker call. Here, that's Not the cruise off actually. That's the limit. Cruise on. We'll see how that goes on. It's showing that I'm on Bluetooth audio for the audio system. 
is showing me what's playing the killers, Mr. Bright. The killers, Mr. Brightside. Click oh so. If I click OK, that will change the source. There you go. Apple device via USB, USB devices, Bluetooth audio devices. At the bottom, showing me I'm in drive, showing me how many miles I can do before I need to fill up, which is 101. Showing me the mileage on the right hand side of the information display, it's a speedo with the fuel gauge at the bottom, the left hand side is a rev counter with the coolant temperature gauge at the bottom. You've got your global lock in here, electric windows as I mentioned before it's only front electric windows which honestly to a motor trader these days it's a godsend, probably means you make about another 300 quid on a car or at least 300 quid worth of warranty work saved. Car drives nice. Indicators on the left, wipers on the right. Down here you've got your lane departure warning. Insane idea. Aircon. USBs there, auxiliary in, and you've got the power socket, got front center armrest. Does that come up? I think you press in. So, room for perhaps a telephone, cup holders. The seats are unbelievably comfortable. Somehow, somehow these, this driver's seat is absolutely perfect for my shoulders. Sometimes, you know, the, the sculptured seats, they, they just feel like they're trying to make your round shoulder, but this is, this, is, this is absolutely spot on. Couldn't be better. Nice driving position, nice thigh support, nice and, and nice, padded seats. The suspension's great. And just the acceleration. Usually, I, I remember in the days of the, the one litre quarter, the, the, they were absolutely gutless. Like two star fuel, and it'd take you like 30 seconds to, to get up to 40 miles an hour. So, JW there having a coffee, but. Uh, Unfortunately, nearly coming over the wrong side of the road. A bit of feedback from the tyres through the steering wheel. But you know, I mean, this car, for the price of it now, there you go again, I didn't indicate to come across the, the line and it zzzed, zzzed me, must remember to knock that off, oh, going too fast, 
you know, going too fast in a one litre car. Let's cruise, cruise on, set. Just marvellous. Just wondering if lane departure and emergency brake so I'm going to knock off lane departure go back tyre pressures tyre pressure monitoring system no warnings settings click OK on settings ESP driver assistance display settings vehicle settings maintenance and back to tyre pressures so one of my cameras is uh, overheated already, even though I've got the air con blowing on it. I don't know. Not a long test drive today though, so we'll, we'll see if we can get on without losing any more cameras. good turn of acceleration for a little car. Bags of room as well, I mean, I've got loads of room. When Nissan Micros first came out, they were tiny. Everything's got bigger, hasn't it? Including me. I just knocked that lane departure warning off, I'm sure I did. Very annoying. So everything you could possibly need. Remote central locking. Good looking little car. Cheap to run. As a second car, or even a first car, this is absolutely ideal. Economical, it's as fast as you could possibly want. It's comfortable, it's got everything that you need, and a couple of things that you don't. And it's nice, it's like brand new inside. And should hold its value a lot better than most things on the market today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.